They're going to look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. And based on my math, they've only converted one time thus far in this game. So you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. And the 10-year vet knocks it through the goalpost. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14-3. So that kick gives them their first points of the game, CD. And it comes on the third drive, but hopefully for them that's a spark that gets that offense going. Yeah, and I would say if you're the offensive play caller, as you look at your sheet, you're trying to find that part on there that unlocks bigger points. They've struggled with a few drives so far, finally got three out of it. How do you find me? And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. From end zone to end zone, it's a 106-yard return as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Well, he made the right choice by result, but a little bit surprising because now with touchbacks coming back to the 25 instead of the 20, when guys field it that deep in the end zone, I think most coaches want him to take a knee. Yeah, it's resulted in more kneel downs, not right there. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is up to 18 now. Well, we talk a lot about explosive plays on offense. How about an explosive play on special teams? Certainly one there on the kick return for a touchdown. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. And we will not see an attempt to match that return touchdown as this will be a touchback and bring it out to the 25. A week two underway around the NFL. And a reminder that later tonight it'll be Chicago and Green Bay in the Packers home opener. The 101st season of that great rivalry. They had the 100th anniversary last year. And then tomorrow night, a treat, a Monday night doubleheader. Tennessee and Buffalo, 7.15 Eastern. And then Minnesota and Philly kicking off a little over an hour later. Yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. Looks like a nine-yard loss, and it also brings up Ford. And they're picking up right where they left off with the shutout that they pitched last week. A huge part of that, this pass rush. They know how to get after people. Offensively, good luck finding some answers right now. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Take it at the 37. 153 remaining in this first half of play. First carry for their fullback. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. And now they're in the hurry up. From the 41, Marino. This complete to Martin. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. That was awfully nice. Hit him in stride, and off he went. It was almost like the ball hitting him was like him receiving a baton, and he was running the anchor leg in a relay race. So now following the big play, they've got a first and goal all the way down at the 10. On the give, this is their fullback. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. Second down, ball on the three. First down marker at the... And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. It's the fullback. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Dolphins are able to widen their lead here in this first half. 
Extra point splits the uprights, and the route is on here in this first half. Just a four-play drive that time, and it results in a four-yard touchdown run. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will come out to the 25 as Lewis is going to opt to not return it. The Raven offense is going to take over late in this first half. And with the score where it is, even though I think they'd love to get back to the locker room, they may be forced to try and get something out of this drive. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. This time they stay on the ground, and they will bottle him up behind the line, and now will they use a timeout? And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say we'll see what happens. The Ravens send their punter out now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he fields it cleanly. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. A pretty good punt, but a nice 13-yard return. And there will be time for maybe one final play before halftime. play of the half it's Marino he's gonna take a shot at the end zone why not he's got it touchdown Dolphins a big play there as time expires in the first half and the Dolphins will extend their lead on the final play of the half so this offensive unit yeah they were solid in the opening week victory and now they are looking just as sharp here in week two and that's exactly what you want, too, because you want to get better each and every week and really ramp up as the season goes on. I know it's still early in the season and a lot can happen, but this offense, they look like they're going to be fun to watch each and every time out. Extra point right down the middle, and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. So we've reached halftime here, and it's the visiting Dolphins taking a lead to the locker room. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman, ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, we'll get you back to you and Charles in a bit, but first it's time for a trip around the NFL following an eventful opening weekend. Let's see what's happening in week two. We'll begin with a couple of cellar dwellers from a season ago. The Jets on the road at Cleveland, and they have gone to halftime with the Jets out on top. Dalvin Cook has scored a touchdown there. Next, we'll head over to check on the Giants at home at MetLife Stadium. And for the moment, they find themselves trailing the visiting Carolina Panthers. Davis Mills, the Stanford man, with two touchdown passes. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting New England Patriots. Ezekiel Elliott, over 100 yards rushing with a touchdown run. Meanwhile, our game has been a boat race. Very one-sided to this point. And for the call of the second half, let's get it back to our commentating team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. 